check natin ngayon. Subukan natin sa second term. Second. Good day everyone. So, in this video, uh, we are going to have uh, how to find the next term of the sequence and how do we formulate the nth term rule. Okay? So, alam natin na uh, uh, ang bawat sequence ng numbers or ang bawat sequence ay meron siyang definite pattern. Okay? So, para mas madali siya maintindihan, uh, we have here uh, an example. We have number 1. So, 3, 6, 9, 12. And this one, blank. So, what is the next term of this sequence of numbers? Okay? Now, ang gagawin natin, titignan natin kung uh, paano yung nangyari sa sequence ng number. Okay, kung titignan natin dito, ang start, ang, um, by the way, ang tawag sa, dito sa uh, first number ay first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and so on, or the nth term. Okay? So, kung mapapansin natin, uh, ang pagkakasunod niya, ang pagkakasunod ng numbers or ang sequence ng number tulad nito, 3, 6, so as we observe, anong ginawa natin? Okay, so nag-add nag tayo ng 3 dito para maging 6. Diba? Kung tinan natin naman sa next term, so nag-add din tayo ng 3 para maging 9. So kung kung pamansin natin, ibig sabihin, nag-add lang dito ng plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. Okay? Therefore, ibig sabihin, ang next term natin, mag-add lang tayo ng 3 dito. So, 12 plus 3, 15. Okay? In short, ang common difference ng bawat sequence or bawat number ay 3. Okay? Yan ang common difference nila. Okay. So, next, since nakuha natin yung uh, next term ng 12, we, we, which is 15, ngayon, paano naman, how do we formulate the nth term rule? Okay? So, bakit kailangan natin ng nth term rule? Kasi, okay lang kung ganito, di ba? Kung, kung ganito lang, next term, next term lang, madali lang. Okay, di ba? Ito, ah, madali lang naman yan hanggang... Pero ang problema, kapag ang question, halimbawa, ito, ang hanapin natin ay what is the 127th term? Diba? 127th term or 227th term. So, alangan, kailangan isa-isa natin mag ng 3. So, abutin tayo ng siyam-siyam. Kaya, kailangan natin um, alam natin, kailangan alam natin kung paano mag-formulate ng n term rule. Okay, so dito, ibig sabihin, uh, since 3, nag lang ng 3, or ang common difference nila ay 3, so, uh, ang technique dyan, yung first term, or, yes, yung dito, okay? Uh, I mean, itong, um, ito, yung common difference nila, or, yung number na kung saan, mag lang tayo, kasi yan yung pattern niya. So, since 3, therefore, ang, ang, kwan natin ay 3. Okay? Tapos, 3n ang mangyari dyan. Okay, so bakit 3n? Kasi kapag isubitute natin yung term dito, halimbawa, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, makuha natin yung bawat term. Halimbawa, dito, ang 3 natin ay first term. ba first term. So, um, halimbawa, uh, second term. So, subitute natin second term is equal to 6. Diba? So, yun. Next, halimbawa, uh, try natin ito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5th term. So, try natin ng 5th term. So, replace natin ng 5 kasi 5th term. So, 3 times sub, we have 15. So, nakuha siya. Okay? So, kaya kailangan natin ng n term. Okay, next. So, try natin ito number 2. Okay? So, 
ang given natin, ang sequence ng number ay 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, then find the next term and formulate the and term rule. Okay, so kung papansinin natin yung yung sequence ng number, okay, so 10, then 15, ibig sabihin nag-add siya dito ng 5. ba? Okay, so nag-add siya ng plus 5. So, next term, 15 to 20. Okay, so nag-add ulit siya ng 5. ba? So, 20 to 25. In short, ibig sabihin, ang Ang next term natin, so mag add tayo ng 5 dito ay 30. Okay? So, since nakuha natin yung next term ng 25, okay, so kung makapansin natin, madali lang kasi nag add, -add lang tayo ng 5, ba? Kasi ibig sabihin yung pattern or yung sequence ng numbers. Ngayon, paano naman natin uh, ma-formulate yung nth rule? Okay, so, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, so, since nag-add siya ng 5, so, ba ang bawat number, therefore, yun ang magiging hit natin. So, 5, okay, so, ito yung magiging 5, then N. Automatic, ganyan siya. Okay, so, alam natin, ang first term ay 10, 15, ah, uh, first term, second term is 15, and so on. So, uh, by the way, ang pinakahint pala natin dito ay itong first term. Okay, so, itong first term, kung mag-subtract tayo dito ng 1, kasi first term man, so, 5 times 1 is 5. So, hindi na kuha yung first term. So, ang gagawin natin, anong ma-add natin na number para makuha natin yung second term? Ah, yung first term. Siyempre, 5, diba? 5. So, pag mag-add tayo ng 5 dyan, equal to 10. Therefore, ang rule natin, ang nth rule natin ay, 5n plus 5. Okay? So, ito ngayon yung magiging nth rule natin. Ngayon, i-check natin. Okay, susubukan natin i-check. Second term. Okay? So, 5n plus 5. So, ang gawin natin. So, second term, palitan natin ng 2 plus 5. Tama? Next, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Plus 5. 10 plus 5, 15. Okay? So, therefore, nakuha yun. Yung second term. So, subukan pa natin i-check. Um, next term ng 25. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, fifth term. Subukan natin ng fifth term. So, 5n plus 5. Balitan natin ng 5 yung n. Kasi 5th term plus 5. Ba? Next, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Bring down 5. 25 plus 5 would be 30. So, therefore, nakuha yun. Okay? Okay, so next, we have number 3. Try natin. 7, 9, 11, 13. So, kung na, ang, ang mapapansin natin sa next term, so, again, uh, find the next term and formulate the nth term rule. Okay, so, na, ang, na, ang mapansin natin sa sequence ng number, so, para maging, para makuha yung second term, nag-add tayo dito ng, okay, 2 plus 2. Tama? So, 9 plus 2, 11. Okay? So, 11 plus 2, 13. So, what's the next term? mag tayo ng okay, 15. Ama? Okay, 15. Since nakuha natin yung uh, next term ng 13, uh, ang gawin naman natin ay paano natin i-formulate yung and term rule. So, ang gawin lang natin, we have since nag-add siya ng 2, so, automatic 2 times n. Okay? So, kung 2n, ang first term natin ay 7, kung isubject natin ng 1 dito na first term, so, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Tama? 
So, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So, ano yung ma-add natin na number para maging 7? Huh? Okay. So, 5 plus 5 para maging 7. Next, ibig sabihin, ang rule natin ay 2n plus 5. Okay? Kasi, nakuha natin yung first term through this. Okay. So, next, try natin i-check. Check natin ngayon. Subukan natin sa second term. Second term natin, 2n plus 5. So, subject natin ng 2 plus 5. 2 times 2 is equal to two, 4. Then, plus 5 is equal to 9. So, nakuha natin yung second term. So, next, so, subukan natin yung pang fifth term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yung fifth term. Try natin. 2n plus 5. Okay. Subject natin ang um, fifth term, 2 times 5. Okay, so 2 times 5 is equal to 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. So, nakuha natin yung So, nakuha natin yung uh, pang fifth term. Okay, so I think that's all. So, I hope na intindihan. So, thank you.